Hello mga kagri, kumusta? Agritox PH na po pala. Ngayon ay pag-uusapan po natin ang mga basic calculations sa soil science. Pero bago pong lahat ay paki-like and share po ng video na to. At kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to ay paki-subscribe na rin at i-hit ang notification bell button para updated po kayo sa mga usaping may kaugnayan sa agrikultura. Maraming salamat po. are very important when we are talking about soil fertility. So, what is soil fertility, by the way? Soil fertility is the fertility of the soil. <laughs> so, soil fertility talks about how healthy our soil is. Kaya niyang magsuporta sa pagbigay ng sustansya ng ating mga tanim. Yan po yung soil fertility. When we are talking about soil fertility, it is directly involved about chemistry. Okay, so since our fertilizer, our nutrients, our element, so these are ele elemental form or it's an ionic form. So this is part of the chemistry. So alam niyo guys, itong chemistry ay napakahirap na subject. Isa din ito sa mga ayaw kong subject noon. Kasi meron po akong crush noon, tapos Kahit anong pilit kong pagpapapansin sa kanya, paglapit sa kanya, pero wala pa rin kaming chemistry. Ayun, simula nun, ayaw ko na sa mga chemistry na yan. <laughs> okay. Kahit kami, walang chemistry. Maybe kayo rin, wala kayong chemistry dyan. Pero dito sa soil fertility, meron chemistry. Kaya dito na lang po tayo sa soil fertility. Simulan na natin ang ating mga computations. Tara! So the following computations that we are going to discuss now. First, we have this molecular weight percent and mean the equivalent weight conversion of elemental form to a unique form. And lastly, we have this percent moisture content of the soil. So those are the six uh, basic calculations in soil science that we are going to discuss now. So we will start with the molecular weight and how to compute this molecular weight. As what we have learned from our chemistry, we have this so-called elements. So what are these elements? For example, we have nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, oxygen, and many more. In fact, we have 118 elements as of now. So as you can see in your periodic table, so you can check that one. Out of these 118 elements, we have only 17 elements that are essential in the growth of our plant. Elements are composed of atoms. So there is a specific atomic weight in each element. Okay, so... And then when this element will be combined with another element, ang tawag ko dito ay molecule. Okay? So, yung timbang niya ngayon ay hindi na atomic weight. Kung ang tawag sa kanya ay molecular weight. So, ito po yung i-compute po natin ngayon. So, I will show you how to compute molecular weight. For example, we have this potassium combined with chlorine. So, ang tawag ko dito ay potassium chloride. So, ang potassium po ay meron po siyang atomic weight na 39.098. Pero, para po mas madali yung pag-compute natin, we will only use the whole number para po mas easy ang computations natin. Okay, so we will use only 39. And then, we have also chlorine uh, which have the atomic weight of 35. So, this is grams and grams. Okay, so 39 and 35. So, when computing our molecular weight, we will just only add the atomic weight of all the elements. Okay, so we will just add potassium and chlorine. 
So, 39 plus 35, we have this 74 grams per mole. Okay? So, this is now the molecular weight of our potassium chloride or the KCl. So, yun lang, very easy po. Um, you just only add all the atomic weight of your elements. So, we will try another example. We have this ammonium sulfate, okay? That is NH4 2SO4. Okay, so this is the chemical formula of our ammonium sulfate. So it is a combination of nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Okay, so now we will determine the molecular weight of this ammonium sulfate. But first, we will determine the atomic weight of each element. Okay, so for example, we have nitrogen, this is 14. And then we have hydrogen, 1. Sulfur, 32. And then oxygen is 16. However, meron po tayong mga subscript. We have 4, 2, and another 4. So meaning, 4 is a subscript of this hydrogen. And then, ito po yung 2 ay subscript po na nitrogen and hydrogen. So, we will just multiply the subscript with the subscript of this element. For example, meron po siyang 1. Pero pwede lang wala ng 1. So, patanggalin na lang po natin. So, 2 times 1 will be 2. So, times 2, 2 times 4, that will be 8. Then for sulfur, wala po siya kasi hindi po siya naka-enclose ng ganito. So, only 1 lang po. And then yung oxygen is 16 times 4. Okay, times 4. Yung ganito po, yung 4 ay para lang po sa oxygen kasi hindi na po siya naka-enclose kagaya nito. So, kung naka-enclose po siya, saka pa natin siya i-multiply. Okay, kaso hindi, kaya 1 lang siya. Okay, so 14 times 2, that would be 28. 1 times 8, what times 8? <laughs> uh, calculator, calculator, what times 8? Okay, so 8, tama? Oh, 8. So, and then, copy na lang po yung 32. And then, 16 times 4, that would be 64. And then, we will add all. So, we have this. 28 plus 8 plus 32 plus 64, that would be 132 grams per mole. So, ito po yung molecular weight ng ating ammonium sulfate. So, ganun lang po ka-easy. Very easy lang po. So, again, when we are computing our molecular weight, we will just add all the atomic weight of the elements that is present in that molecule. Okay. Now we will proceed with our second topic which is the percentage. So this percentage is very important in determining the proportion of this particular element out of this molecule. Say for example, we will compute how many percent is the oxygen out of this ammonium sulfate. So this is the formula. Percent is equal to the value of that element, value of element divided by the total molecular weight. So, total value times 100%. So, we have the value of oxygen which is 64. So 64 grams divided by total value which is the 132 132 grams times 100 so 64 divided by 132 that is 0 0.4848 48 times 100 percent that would be 48.48% uh, .48%. So this is 
the percentage of oxygen out of this molecule na ammonium sulfate. Okay, we will try another example. Now, we will determine how many percent is the proportion of sulfur out of this ammonium sulfate. So, here, um, formula, percent, the value of sulfur, which we are going to determine. So, 32 here, grams, divided by the total. So, 132 grams. 132 grams times 100 percent. So, now we will cancel out grams and cancel out grams. So, the remaining will be this percent. So, 32 divided by 132, that would be 0 0.2424 times 100 percent. That would be 24.24 percent. So, that's the percentage of sulfur out of this ammonium sulfate. So, it's very easy to determine this percentage. Okay, so, yun lang. Very simple po. Okay, now we will proceed with our another topic which is the mean. Mean is the central value of all the values that we have. For example, we have one, two, three, four, five values. So what is the central value out of these values? It's the number three. We have another way how to compute this number three. So we will add all the values then divided by how many individual values. For example, one plus two plus three plus four plus five, that would be 15 divided by how many individual values. So one, two, three, four, five. So divided by five, the answer would be three. Okay, so this is the mean. Okay, we will have another example. We will have this number. Um, 5, 8, 7, and 4. So, we will determine the mean of these values. So, what we are going to do is to add all the values and then we will divide that by how many values that we have. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so... 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4, that would be 24. Divided by how many individual values? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, divided by 4, the answer would be 6. Meaning, the central value or the central number out of these 4 individual numbers is 6. So, this is the mean. So, it's very easy guys. You just add all the numbers divided by how many individual numbers or individual values and that's the mean. Okay? So, it's very easy. Another, we have this term average. Okay? Based on my knowledge or based on what I have learned, mean and average is just the same. What's the difference between the two is just the term that are being used. Since mean is usually used in statistics, while the average is usually used in mathematical topics. So, that's what I have learned. But if you have something about to say what are the difference between the average and the mean, please comment down below. And I will be grateful on that. Thank you so much. Yun po ang ating mga basic calculation sa soil science. I hope meron po kayong natutunan mula sa video na to. Kung meron kayong mga questions and clarification, please comment down below. And pakishare na rin po ng video na to. Especially to our agriculture students, to agriculturists, and also for our graduates in agriculture na gustong mag-take po ng ating licensure examination for agriculturists. Pakahalaga po ng topic na to sa inyong darating na examination. So please watch this video. This is for you. 
At ngayon, ito po si Master Arwin ng Agritox PH na nagsasabi, Every time we eat, let's thank God and thank our farmers.